no telling what I'm feeling. I'm beyond. Oh, crap! I'm beyond. Good morning, my name is Mary Stoddard and I'm a neurologist here at Clovis and Medical. Today I will be using ultrasound technology to help with the treatment of a coma patient. The purpose of this video is to explain to the medical world more about the use of the treatment and why it is beneficial to patients as well as their care team. Ultrasounds are commonly used to get images of the human body's internal organs. Recently, ultrasounds have been used to help wake up coma patients from their state. It also helps to improve coma patients' uh, cognitive function and motor skills post-coma. The technology is also very beneficial to nurses because it's widely available, cost-efficient, and non-invasive. With this treatment, we expose the thalamus to the sound waves of the ultrasound. By targeting the machine, the idea is to jumpstart the neurons of the brain, thereby waking the patient up. The thalamus is the organ of choice because of its high multitude of information processing. Specifically, the ultrasound used today is called Low Intensity Focus Ultrasound Pulsation, or LIFO. Today we will be following the ultrasound treatment of Stephanie Alakbari. Stephanie was in a car accident three weeks ago due to reckless driving. Since then, she has been in the ICU here at Clemson Medical. Her care team here at Clemson has been implementing this treatment every day, 10 times a day, for 30 seconds for 10 minute intervals. I will now demonstrate this treatment here in our ICU. Good morning, doctor. This is Stephanie. She has suffered a traumatic brain injury after a car accident and that occurred three weeks ago on the highway. And she has been unresponsive for three weeks. She shows no signs of infection, bed sores, or other serious injuries. Her temperature is 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit and her blood pressure is normal, 122 over 85, and her pupils are dilated, and her heart rate and lungs sound normal. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to start up the ultrasound treatment on Stephanie. Perfect. Now, the reason we're doing this is to jumpstart the neurons in Stephanie's brain, waking her up and making her come out of her coma state. We're going to start the treatment, yeah. <laughs> Nurse Jessica, go notify Stephanie's family immediately that she's awake. Okay. Okay, Stephanie, after your car accident, you were immediately put into a coma state and brought here. We took your vitals every day and made sure you were stable. We also ran EEG testing, which touched your brain wave activity every day, just to make sure that you were doing okay and still with us. The hypothermic treatment was also done every day for two hours a day to make sure that your body was functioning and okay so that when you did come out of the coma, you would still have a lot of function left. We also did the ultrasound treatment, which is very new and innovative. We believed it really helped you come out of the coma by jumpstarting the nephrons in your brain. Now, I think you're all good. We've done the CT scans. We've checked you out. I'm going to send your bill to your house, and um, I'll see you in a couple weeks. Thank you. We are very happy with the results of the ultrasound treatment used for Stephanie, and we'll continue to incorporate this treatment into our daily treatment of all coma patients. This innovative technology is widely available, cost-efficient, and helps pa increases patients' chances of survival. It is also non-invasive, which reduces the risk of injury caused by surgical procedures. From all of us here at Clemson Medical, I'm Mary Stoddard. You stay classy, Clemson.